watch them become a singing superstar right here on Fox, and then go on to a chart-topping career in music and as a Broadway performer. Yeah, now Alabama's own Taylor Hicks is back in the South, headlining the season opener at Serenby Playhouse. And good day's Paul Milliken is live there this morning. Opening night for Shenandoah. Paul, I wanted to point out, Taylor mm -hmm. earlier said that he was going to help you kickstart your acting <laughs> career. He has no wow. idea you're already yeah. a very yeah. established yeah. actor. You play the role of drama queen on Good Day Atlanta. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very established. No, 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 no. You know, you know my big role. And now Taylor knows too. I was Teen Angel and Taylor's very threatened by that fact. He knows that he has to really up his game. Taylor, you, you're a little, you're jealous. Just say it because I'm already a huge Serenity well, Playhouse star. I gotta star. hear the first line from Beauty School Dropout. Uh, that would mean I'd have to remember the first line, and that experience has gone right out of my head. So Beauty school dropout. Well, see, Rachel did it. I don't have to do it. She did it, and she's a much better singer than I am. Guys, it's good to see you. How are you? Thank you. Good morning. Okay, Shenandoah starts previews tonight. Look. You know Sarah B. Playhouse does things big. Brian Cloudis has a little bit of reputation. So he decided this time we're just going to bring the entire Civil War back to life here in Sarah B. This is going to be an incredible show. How did you get involved? How did this happen? Well, Brian, uh, I got a call from my agent, and uh, I had been to Sarah B. Uh, about eight or nine months ago. And uh, it, this is just one of those things where the stars aligned. Uh, yeah. the, the role fit. And uh, I knew that he, you know, was looking for kind of a Southern musical, Southern kind of country soul guy. And um, luckily, uh, our schedules lined up, Rachel and I's, yeah. and then Brian's vision here at Serenby, uh the stars aligned. Yeah. I, I have to tell you, I'm not familiar with this musical. It's not one that you hear about all the time. Did you know much about the musical? And, and if not, tell me a little bit about how you learned about it. Well, the, the musical um, was an adaptation from the, mu the, the movie, but the story okay. has been around for quite some time. And that, that's what's amazing about Brian and, and his vision uh, with his playhouses is uh, it's the music, the musical is wonderful. The story uh, is a Civil War story about a, a family, the Anderson family, that really kind of fight to stay out of the war. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the issues and some of the storylines uh, can be, a, you know, can be a, a, applicable today. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so the music is, is wonderful and uh, it's such a great story and it's really a, a blessing to be able to work with Rachel and Brian. Yeah. Well, Rachel, let's talk about your part in this. So first of all, I know you had a long career on Broadway before we came to know you on The X Factor. But have you ever done an outdoor musical before, or is this a totally new experience? Oh, this is a totally new experience. Yeah. And when Brian hired me, he said, I hope you're ready to use a porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, that was the first thing. I said, You'll have a porta potty. It'll have a star on it, but you'll be in a porta potty. No, well, as long as it's got the star, right? <laughs> right. But it's been so cool. I mean, just the, the natural habitat of just being yeah. in this field yeah. at night, it's stunning because you can see the stars so clear mm -hmm. and you know there's literally frogs that have set up shop right underneath oh, the house that are it. croaking you can hear the crickets it's unreal it's it feels so you're so immersed and so really for cool. you as an actress does that add a whole other layer to your performance absolutely last night i snuck around and came and walk watched act two because i'm well, I don't want to spoil anything. Don't give anything away. Give anything away, right. but I have a moment where I can watch Act yeah. Two, and I was just crying. Yeah. And I've seen yeah. it, you know, a million times already at this point in the studio. But it's, um, yeah, I think it really helps you to just really feel like you're there, yeah. get really yeah. into it. Yeah. Well, again, Brian Cloudis, let's see, you've landed a helicopter, you've sunk a ship, now you're recreating a war here. Uh, where did this idea come from? Because, again, actually, I, you know, this is not a musical that I know much about. How did you know about it and want to do this? So Shenandoah is the first musical I did as a child. I played Boy Anderson, which is the youngest son in the Anderson really? family, and I fell in love with this musical since middle school. Wow. So it's always been on my bucket list, and when putting together this 10th anniversary season for the Playhouse, um, this idea of a season of America, I mm -hmm. knew that Shenandoah would be a part of that. Um, yeah. And then Taylor came into the mix and Rachel, and it was just the right combo of having star power at the helm of the show yeah. and this incredible 360 Civil yeah. War environment yeah. that we're in as well. So. And the experience will start as soon as you get here because I've heard that as people walk through, you will be walking through a fully active Civil War encampment. Right. You get out of your car and you're greeted by soldiers and you are in a Union encampment. You're going to see Confederates circling around yeah. and an actual war is going to erupt out of this atmosphere. Wow. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about these two right here. How did you decide on Taylor and Rachel to headline this musical? So Rachel and I 
have actually been trying to work together for a few years now. Um, I've been a big fan of hers from her work on Broadway. And, and I his. And yes, yeah, so it's been a mutual love affair. Yeah. And it, again, it's just this Southern musical, the stars aligned. Yeah. And I presented her with the idea and she was like, absolutely. So it worked. And then with Taylor, I knew that I wanted a male star. Um, Charlie Anderson is such a huge role. Um, and when I got a list from our New York casting agency, Taylor was on the list. And I was like, do you think Taylor Hicks would do it? And they're like, well, we can ask. And lo and behold, he said yes, and he's just been incredible in amazing, the role. So Amazing. All right, well, guys, we can't wait to see the show. Previews start tonight. First, though, I'll make you a deal, okay? In our next hour, either I will sing Beauty School Dropout or you two will sing a song from the show. Please, Which, what, do what do we think? What do we think? I YouTube. really would love to hear you sing. No. no you know what? Do that. If we take a vote from viewers at home, I think you guys are going to win the vote. So we're going to hear from them. We're going to hear from them coming up in the next hour. I'm going to stay. Goodness. Hey, Paul, I got to say, right. they do a I'm great job up. out of every I'm production at Serenby is fantastic. Other than one glaring casting issue yeah. in Greece, I think everything's been fantastic. <laughs> That was not nice to say about whoever you're talking about. <laughs> that, been, I know oh, it's not angel. me, but that's talking very, about not angel. nice yeah. at all. Oh. All right. Shenandoah opens tonight, and it runs March 14th. Uh, actually, we're going to skip ahead to what is March 14th. It's Pi Day. Okay, yeah. Coming up tomorrow.